Hello traders and investors. Welcome to our brand new series, where we are going to decode and demystify ETN and ETF. If you have always wanted to understand these complex financial instruments, you are in the right place. Let's kick things off with exchange traded notes, or ETNs. These are unsecured debt securities, and they are issued by an institution, like a bank. Unlike an ETF, which holds assets, an ETN is more like a bond. It is a promise by the issuer to pay a certain return that is linked to a market index or other benchmark. Now, the key point here is that ETN carry credit risk. If the issuer defaults, you, as the investor, could lose your investment. ETN are like purchasing a gift card. You pay now with the promise of getting a certain return in the future. But remember, just like a store can go out of business before you use your gift card, if the issuing bank defaults, the investment could be lost. Now, let's look at ETF, or exchange-traded funds. ETF represent ownership in an underlying portfolio of securities. They can hold a mix of stocks, commodities, or bonds, and they offer key advantages such as diversification and liquidity. ETF are traded just like individual stocks, and they usually have lower fees compared to mutual funds. Another major benefit is their tax efficiency. Exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, are more like buying a grocery basket filled with a variety of items, just like having a variety of food items ensures you have a balanced diet. So, you might be thinking, how do we distinguish between ETF and ETN? While they may sound similar, they are structured differently. ETF own an underlying portfolio of assets, while ETN are backed by the credit of the issuer. This is a critical point of differentiation, because if the issuing bank goes under, as an investor in an ETN, you stand to lose your investment. That's it for the first episode. We've covered the basics of ETN and ETF. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll dive even deeper. Thank you for joining us in this exciting exploration of ETN and ETF. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Happy trading.